The Premier has thrown his full support behind Education Minister Sue Ellery as the opposition demanded her resignation over her handling of lead testing of school water. The minister had already been under scrutiny because of a public backlash to her multi-million dollar education budget cuts. Another day, another protest over the government's education budget cuts. This time education workers were taking industrial action, upset over job losses and services being axed. No ifs, no buts. Education cuts. The education minister's already reversed 23 million in planned cuts, but for some, that's not enough. Our members rallied today to tell the government that their short sighted cutting of over 400 jobs needs to be reversed. The minister's also under fire for her handling of lead testing of water in new schools. As school returned for the year, students at five new schools had to be given bottled water as a precautionary measure because test results were delayed. The minister has been derelict in her duty. She should resign or the Premier should force her out. She's a great minister doing a good job in difficult circumstances. She's been let down here. The government's been let down. And as his minister had the day before, he was pointing the finger of blame elsewhere for the delays in water testing results. I think there's a failure in terms of carrying out the instructions, the very clear instructions, the very clear request that was put to the relevant departments by the minister. Both the Premier and the Minister have thrown their full support behind long-serving Education Director-General Sharon O'Neill. But the Premier says the government's trying to find out which bureaucrats were responsible for the delays. Jessica Strutt, ABC News.